Hey, Lawrence. Anna, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. We're, we're laughing a bit because we just restarted the show then because the internet was like <sighs> out of I order. Mean, it happens. I mean, I've been having internet problems for ages. I've been on the phone to O2 for countless hours. Um, they are not very helpful. Let's put it like that. They are not a very helpful company. Company. Um, they 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 issue these ticket numbers when there's a problem, and then they uh -oh. say the technician will look at it, and they won't come to your home because of Corona. I got a new uh, Fritz box, like the newest modem, everything new. Um, so it's a problem with the uh, the thing near here. It looked as though they'd they'd um, basically the, the power plant working. Yeah, exactly. Or some, <laughs> some kind of mast with reception near here. Oh. I'm in a big tower block. I'm in a, I'm in a uh, you know, one of these old buildings, right? These platen bows. Oh, right? dear. Okay. So I'm in, the reception yeah. is a bit worse like that. So the reception yeah, yeah. is a bit worse. Anyway, it looks as though they've solved it, but clearly not. So now I'm using my mobile internet. Um, because uh, what else are we going to do? We've got to get the show done. <sighs> Sacre but, bleu. Sacre anyway. bleu. But anyways, everything is fine. Yeah. What's going on? Uh, everything is uh, going on very well. I'm very excited for Magnus World and Ian. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, life is great. Yeah. It sounds a bit cliche, good. but like I'm, I'm, I'm just genuinely very happy. So uh, it's, it's good. That's it's wonderful. good stuff. And we're busy as hell and we have to right now start to because i have so many things to do you have a lot of things to do let's go yes. on right into the let's tactics i would say let's do it and uh, see what we can pull off okay for you at home so we're gonna we're gonna carry on a bit from a, a kind of well some kind of similar theme from from last time uh well a bunch of themes last time was all about uh drawing the king out into the open. Uh, we're going to see some something similar with these examples and some typical mating patterns as well. I've been doing a lot of mating patterns with some of my students this week. Nice. Um, so just improving our calculation and, and that sort of thing. So we're, we're in a game here. This is Sokolov against Pete from 1954, I, I, White to Play. You need to reshare oh, the I do screen, need to share. Sorry. I think. Yeah. Let me do that. Hope the internet can handle this looks very good yeah here okay. we go so who was it sokolov yeah he but is... it's not the sokolov we know because this is from 1954 ah. so i don't know what so i don't know which sokolov he was is. three old, years old. old by that time <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly all right uh, so yeah so um this is the position and it's white to play and obviously the question is um you know how does White proceed? Um, he has sacrificed uh, two pawns, um, but can't allow Black to consolidate. So, what what is the what is the continuation you see uh, here? Okay, so immediately what stings my eye is Queen F3, because Good. we want okay. to give a bit of pressure on F6. I guess that was the main purpose. And there is a lot of nice little tactics here and there, whatever happens next, I guess. But, yeah, yeah. And even I'm also protecting the knight on d5. So if it got taken by the pawn, I can retake with the bishop. Now the question is, is this enough or is this a good first move? Always look at the first move and try and ask yourself, is there a tactical issue with that mm, move? Mm. That's the first thing you always ask yourself. Now, the most, logical, the most logical attacking move for me is just taking out the bishop and then getting to f3 with the queen. And is there a difference if you do it the other way? I, I think black might... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There is a bit of a difference. Um, it's a very good tactic for black. We're actually checkmate after that. Yeah. Exactly. This has happened to me a lot. Wow. Yeah, queen f3 runs into the nasty queen takes you one checkmate. So you... we can't do that. Ah, oh, crazy. So... You only see what you want to see. You only have to focus on all those nice tactics and you just forget that there is your little rook hanging. Exactly. Okay. Now another thing. 
Hmm. Oh, that's it's nice. So what happens? Let's let's let me calculate a little bit. So the rook takes on e5. Now that might also already be some good compensation. So black might have to take back. I assume. Well, he probably almost always has to take back. I mean, we're taking a full piece. What else is he supposed to do? Exactly. This he, is what I'm thinking. If he yeah. takes here, we just take with the rook, right? Terrible, and then this is yeah. just the end of the game, right? With the discovered check. Okay. So we know he has to take back. So let's try and do it without calculating. So rook takes pawn, takes rook. So now let's and get then? to this idea of the queen going to f3, giving it check. Okay. So, so the knight cannot go in between. Of course, it gets uh, Correct. taken. Now, how many spots does the king have left? One, two, two. Two. So exactly. we, we go so. to g7 or we go to e8. Now let's start okay. with. Well, I mean, we, we start with g's. We start with g7. Exactly. Yeah. We, <laughs> that's yeah. a that's a rule <laughs> which you have no, to I mean, know, the children. We start with, we the reason start we start with, with g7. g7. The reason we start with g7 is because it looks like the most tenacious. Ah, reply. okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So we start, of course, we start with the one which looks more threatening. Looks most solid. Yeah, exactly. Now, keeping that in mind, also, um, I still am one move away from being checkmated myself. So Correct. I have to act. Correct. Okay, King G7. Now, now my bishop gets into play, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And the knight too. How can I continue here? So there could be a check on h6, but this just gets taken. So that doesn't mm -hmm. help. But how can I... How? And then, of course, the knight is still there. The knight is mm -hmm. still there. So... Oh! Actually, a check is pretty good, now that I'm thinking of it. Now, when I give a check <laughs> on h6... Okay. And I would take with the knight. Then yes. I can just give a check on f6. Um, yes. The king has to go to g8 because the knight is blocking h6. And that's mate. Knight on e7. Correct. So that's mate. But okay, and what if he takes with the king? What if he takes with the king? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the king takes and um, I have to get back to... Oh, yeah, okay. So there's the knight check on f8, which looks a bit weird because now the king can move queen away check freely. On queen, yeah, oh, for freaking. That's all right. I, I don't know why I cannot get my, my, my um, pieces correct. Yeah, knight, uh, right. queen check on f8. The king goes to g or h5. The king goes to g or h5. Now that that's already kind of looks you know, bad we're looking. well when the king starts walking up the board we, we know more or less that we sh there should be something right there, yeah. there, there should be um some kind of um uh, you know uh, thing going on basically um yeah so how to how to intervene here i don't see too many options at the moment have you at home found something which can help so let's, so let, let, let's start so we have to be systematic right so let's start with the king going to h5 mm -hmm. now what is the thing we always do is we look for the checks mm -hmm. right at first so can you see a check there at all Uh, you meant h6, right? Yeah, not h5. No, 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 no. So I'm saying after queen f8 check. Ah, ah, okay, okay. We still okay. have to. The, we still we, remember we've sacrificed an exchange and a piece, yeah, right? So we yeah. need to make that work still. So, so there's, let's see if we can do it until the end. There's two checks. One is uh, one looks better than the other. The bishop on d1 looks like a okay. solid check because it takes a couple of more. Um, squares in this attack and cannot be immediately taken back. Correct. Now the king. So should be one check. Mm -hmm. Now the king can only go to h4 or g5. Correct. Let's start with h4. 
Okay. Then h4, there's a check on g3 with the pawn. Yes. That has to that has to go mate, I guess. The king goes to okay, and then h3. King... The bishop just goes to f3 and it's no, it's not a checkmate yet. So normally wait, there is another way to prevent this. What about if I go before I go to g3 with my pawn, I move the king yeah. up to g2. You can't do that. You have to play g3. You, 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 the pawn is on g2, right? You went, you went g3 <laughs> check king h3. It would, be nice, it would be nice to be able to sit on the same square Can't as the pawn, I just but, like, make two moves at once yeah. for this only, only for this, this example, please? Uh, okay, of course, yeah. But, uh, um, okay, now, seriously, what, how can the uh, g3, king h3, I, I go back with my queen to f3, and then it's checkmate on g2, right? Sure, final mm, answer? No, because there is a check by the queen on e1 before. Oh, it's not blimey. just a check, it's actually mate. It's but, actually mate. But can't I go with the queen to f1? Oh no, I can't. Queen? Oh no, no I'm always like two two spots uh, before the, the the wholesome answer. Unfortunately, gosh, this is such a what a this not is easy. an amazing uh, tactic. Yep, not easy. Okay, so well then I will take the bishop to f three. So bishop to f3, okay, so now the king is kind of trapped, you block the check, and if I play, let's say, e takes d5 there, let's say I just take the knight off. That wouldn't be very nice, but I accept that. Well, then I can go with the queen to f4, right? That's... Nope, there's a pawn on e5. No, but, ah, uh, yeah. yes, there is, yeah, that's very true, yeah, that that is a, that is a pawn. So I give a check on g2. King g4, only move. Queen f3 check. King G five. Uh, a it's no. This is yeah. H H actually H four. King H six. And then the queen goes back to F eight. F eight. King H five. Uh, bishop F three. Correct. Nice. My God. That's beautiful. So let's look at that. So Rook takes E five. Takes. We give the forcing move. Check. King here. Now you saw this fantastic. Black is threatening this mate. Always, that's always what we have to keep out for. So you found this fantastic check. Knight takes runs into the very easy queen f6 and knight e7 mate. And as you now said, after king takes h6, you can give a check. Actually, a, we haven't looked at king yeah. g5. We have to. That's true. We haven't. Yeah. But after king h5, you said check. And if king h4, you said check. And after king h3, uh, you mentioned the move bishop f3. Yeah. I don't know. It feels as though there are probably uh, a few ways to win this position, to be honest. But yeah. I guess this is good enough. E takes d5, check, king g4, follow the checks, follow the checks, follow the checks, and mate. Oof. And that is actually beautiful. Pretty cool. Pretty okay. cool. Uh, anything else we have to do? Um, yeah, we have to check, of course, king e8. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the internet. Really? Oh, oh, there you are again. The, I'm here. The internet was gone for a second again. Whew. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, Whew. sorry. Ho hopefully we're good. Hopefully we're good. Okay, so, so uh, to 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 say we have to check uh, something else. So first we have to check King G five, but we also have to check King goes to E eight. Later. Yes, we have to do that as well. It's not the yeah. end of the exactly. Mm -hmm. That's. That's the unfortunate part. So what about if I go to no that yeah don't, yeah h4 check king takes has to take mm -hmm. right yeah and then the queen to f3 with the threat of checkmate on two spots it's either g4 or no it's not two spots uh oh well it still might be winning but king g4 Five? That's a G5. <laughs> no. Maybe not. No, don't do this to me. Wow, the knight. So so nice there, but he cannot help here. 
Yeah. No, I, 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 I think there's another way. So, mm -hmm. um, sorry, with King G5. Yeah, I think there's another check here that ah. when you see it. F4. Yeah. That F4. has to That's, be it. Yes. Yes. Very easy, actually. And can the king go anywhere? The, yes, he can also go to h4. He can go to h4, but yeah. now, of course, with the king already here. That should be g3. Okay, g3, king h3. Oops. Uh, bishop f3. Do we have the same Probably thing again? Probably is this good even? enough. So if e takes d5. Uh, check on g2. King h king g4. Mm, e5, maybe. F takes e5? Yeah. I'm probably not... good enough. It's probably good enough yeah. threatening queen f4. Although... Yeah. Um... No, no, that's f3 check. And then... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then h4 again. And then queen checkmate. And the same idea. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, there's probably a, a many ways here. Yes. Um, but it will also but, just... But, you know... Yeah, exactly. Now, what we have to do, though, is on here, the main move probably is king g5. But I guess now we know what the answer is, right? Because we've already... We've already established the idea. But it is f4, right? Yeah, it's f4. Or you can play the very quiet move g3. Oh, that's very, very quiet. I because, didn't even hear oh, that. Yeah. After queen d2 checking here, we can now play the magical king g2, right? Oh, Cutting the okay. squares. And now you're threatening just to come back, and that's the end of the game. Oh, that's nice, yeah. I like And that. after king h5, by the way, yeah. There are, again, many ways. Bishop d1 check just wins immediately if you mm -hmm. want to, because it forces queen takes d1, but king h3 is just too cute. Threatening g4 mate. Super nice. And after g5, you can do... This this kind oh. you can start getting, yeah. You can start getting creative and, and funky, but the 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 point remains that when the king starts coming up the board, you tend to find a winning plan, right? Yeah. I mean, it 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 tends to be winning. So the question then is, what happens after king e eight, which exactly. is what was played? Exactly. So this is what was played in the game. So this is, you moment, think so. everything is over. You've calculated your little butt off and found those beautiful combinations. And then yeah. there is a completely different move where you have to do all of this again, maybe. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so now we go to king e8. But we've solved one half, so now we just need to solve the other half. Yeah, that's uh, pretty true. Simples. Simples. Mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. the, ad the, the advert goes. Simples. No. Oh, I don't even know that. I didn't watch TV since 10 years. Can you imagine? I'm watching football. Oh, it was football. an English advert. Oh, okay. Though. Well, yeah, that's that's something yeah, different. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's good. It's a meerkat. How do you say meerkat? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, yeah, that, no, I don't know what it is. Now, what about... Uh... It's the Erdmännchen. <laughs> Erdmännchen, yes. You know the Erdmännchen? Yeah, I have one in the background, as you can maybe hear it already. That's She's acting like a little Erdmännchen. Yeah, cat, cat noises. They there do like this. That's what she does. Yeah, too. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, Bishop G five. Wow, Bishop G five. Holy smokes. Okay, so Bishop G five. So you're just cutting that king off, protecting against mate, and your point is that. Well, I have to get so if... rid of this queen to checkmate with the knight on yeah. c7 but if the knight gets taken i take back with the bishop and i think i have some good threats there that looks very dangerous how do i stop that and if knight h6 i guess i just take the knight do i have something more no still not well you know what oh, oh. one of the first things i learned in chess when I was starting to get good, one of my first coaches said to me, if you think you've found a good move, try and find a better one. Because then you've got insurance with the good move. I right? like that. What about queen you know what f6? I mean? Exactly. So bishop h6 yeah. is probably good for white. It's a very, because... very good lesson. That's what you just said. Yeah. Yeah. If you think you found a good move, try and find a better one. And queen f6 then comes to mind. And then you realize, oh, 
uh, this is actually just an easy win. You're threatening mate into in two directions. Yeah. And it's immediately the end of the game. That should be doing the trick, yes. Yeah. 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 That's the end of the game. Okay, so that looks very strong indeed. Wow, bishop g5. Um, but you can, you probably do not have to take the knight. That's the problem. But let's say you go queen c5. Mm -hmm. Let's okay. try this one. Then I would go to c1 with my rook, I guess. I think I very would have more. Very logical move. Yeah. Very logical move. And nice. I'm still looking at uh, knight to c7, of course. Yeah, this is a great move, rook c1. And yeah, he's actually forced to take, right? Uh, yeah, the question is, yeah, it's actually I have something less. That's the problem. But I have still have a strong threat. Well, I mean, if we do a count here of the pieces, a queen for two rooks, you've, you've got actually a lot of material here. And the, the problem for black is that you just have all these mating threads anyway. The, this is the greatest problem. I think it's actually, it's very, very, very difficult to even defend this after you would take the knight. If you do not take the knight, of course, we have an advantage with our pieces and we probably keep on having threats. And if right. you take, I think after, well, I okay, even can consider queen takes d5. That's like so difficult to get out of there after that. So yeah, rook well, c1 is is um, is the move yeah. to go, I think. Yeah, rook c1 takes, takes. And if he takes on d5... I guess I take with uh, the... Well, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. No, you want to take with the queen because you're threatening all kinds of stuff. The bishop can still come out. Yeah. And this is clearly easily winning for one yeah, like, yeah you're not is. even material down right? this is it is it is it's true okay and that's actually what happened so that was <laughs> kind of the game so wow but the intuition is all about removing the defender mm -hmm. and then following the checks following the forcing moves even for example in this position here sorry uh, with king g7 this bishop h6 move which is a lovely touch Okay, after king e8, by the way, the move bishop h6 again uh, probably works, by the way, wow. which is quite interesting. You're threatening mate in one, and if he takes, you can just go queen f6, oh. threatening mate here. And let's say, uh, yeah, well, if he takes on d5, you can take check, you can take check, and go rookie one. Now, this is a little bit, bit more complex because you've sacrificed a piece, but the attack is still yeah. winning. Yeah. Queen d2, check. We give another check, and now some quiet move like h4 trapping the queen, um, and we could get a position like this. So, so that's still winning. Mm -hmm. I personally would be playing bishop g5 all day here because it's much more natural to me to cut that king off, um, and the and the following variations are actually quite easy to uh, easy to analyze. Nice, that Very was nice. a lot of fun. Yeah, let's let's do another one. Let's do one more. Yeah, that took. That took a while. Let's do one more yeah, and then let's well, go to our tactics. Yeah, we'll, we'll do one more and then we'll do our tactics. So here it's white to play. This is the game Cherniak versus Strechi from Beale, 1981. Mm -hmm. And it's, as I say, it's white to play. And again, the, the first two moves look fairly straightforward. Yeah. So it's bishop okay. check on h6 and you cannot take oh, back wow. with the king. Okay, because... that wasn't what I was thinking. No? Oh, wow, okay. But it's good that you saw this, because you look at the checks first, because you can't do this because of mate, yeah, right? exactly. Okay, but after king h8... So, then I take uh, on c6 with my rook. Oh, you're doing it this way. Wow, that's fantastic. Is it? Yeah, that's... Yeah, I mean, it's great that you're doing it this way. It, it might even be genius. I don't know. <laughs> and if it's... I go queen... So the idea is queen takes here, you want to take here? Yes. Now the question, this is how far I was from my logical okay. point of view, but I don't yes. know if it's even working, but it looks good to me. Because I can use the um, knight to protect my queen cool. from any kind of yeah. removal. So that's so nice. a move. A move like rook b5, you just want to yeah. block with check here. Yeah. Wow, that looks, that looks crushing to me. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but... As you said, you do not have to take with the queen. That's the props. That's the props. You mean here going queen b8? Yeah. Now... And then it gets a bit more difficult, maybe. Hmm. Well, it's certainly not straightforward. That's, that's for sure. 
how to do this super cool. That's a nice move, Queen B8. Yeah, it might be the only. Why did you do that? Well, it might just be the only move to stay on the board, actually. Hmm. Okay, then I'm looking at Queen G5. Not working, I think. Well, I mean, it's not that it's not working. Yeah. It just doesn't look. It doesn't look very forced. Yeah. It might be made. Might, it might. Mm, probably not. No. no. So the problem is the next move is going to be. Bishop takes f6, I assume. Well, he's threatening that, for sure. So yeah. we have to be careful about that, yes. Now, I cannot see the rook taking e6. Doesn't help. Does it not? You've got to follow it through a little bit. Um, rook There's takes e6, takes back. Okay, there is. Now I see it. Yeah, you gave me the hint, of course. Yeah. This is so this is an interesting now there's an that's an interesting obstacle because I went with the rook taking e6 then I thought it takes back ah. and then I didn't move on. But you just mentioned you have to follow through. Yes, you do yeah, you, have to. Damn it. So here here's <laughs> another uh piece of advice that I learned. Okay? The next piece of advice is this. Uh when you calculate a variation try always to analyze half a move more half mm -hmm. half a move. not a full move so like white and black just the better players just put in that extra bit of effort mm -hmm. and analyze half a move more so, so once... whereas you stopped here yeah a stronger player looks for knight d7 yes right and then stops <laughs> and then, well, and then and then he doesn't stop actually. Of course, because, because he, he understands just he, he just sees like, oh, on. that's actually very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but for example, a move like bishop d4 mm -hmm. is still possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. and the position is, I don't know if this position is winning for White to be brutally honest. For example, after queen's a c6, if now queen e8. Feels as though black is uh, hanging on here. Uh, wait, uh, okay, go back one. Oh, yeah, that's the pawn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And if we take the queen, bishop takes e3, and let's say we try and save the knight, we can go rook b6. Uh -huh. But, okay, something like here. Yeah, but that's here. not forcingly. Yeah. It's not forcing. You wouldn't white go like, and white is better here. <laughs> yeah, what, what, white is probably slightly better because he can park the bishop on c3. And uh -huh. He has no risk here at all, right? This position is risk-free for white. But winning this, probably he shouldn't do because black can always liquidate. If it's there would be a better player than me, I would lose this as white for sure. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, a better player would probably try and win it against you for sure. But... Okay, so what do we do in all of these circumstances then? Because sometimes there's there's a little thing we can do. Right? Oh, so little... it is actually not the case. Oh, I thought I had a brilliancy. And no, it but isn't. so here, no, no, no. But so what's the key idea? The key idea is whenever we see an idea or a concept, we in a position, try it differently. We, yeah, exactly. We never dis if if it doesn't work in that order we don't throw that concept away gotcha we always keep it in our mind and we try and manipulate the move order so that should give you the now okay so we take on c6 immediately good we take on c6 immediately and then i guess now the queen has to take right yeah well no i think the queen still has to go to b8 because after queen takes c6 that looks too good uh, already right yeah. Well, your bishop h6 check now is excellent, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we get the same position. King takes f6, queen g5 is still mate, and then this this is still completely that's, right? That's so we get the same winning position. Right. Interesting. Okay. 
So actually, he has to go to b8. And then we do our second plan of the game, which is taking on e6. Yeah, so rook With takes rook. e6 is, 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 a, is a winning yeah. move. F takes e6. But now, oh, oops, I've spoiled it. Sorry, <laughs> I clicked the move. Um, the point is rook b1 is now crushed. <laughs> this is why having the king on g7 is better for white, because now rook d7 is threatening mate. And if bishop takes f6, you throw this check in. And after king g8, you take here. Or you take on e6, sorry, with check. This is... Uh, yeah, that's probably a bit better, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it's finding this move rook d1. Um, I think that... That's pretty much I'm, I'm, ready. I'm, I'm happy you spoiled this, because that would have probably taken me a while. Because that is a move which is... Yes, at one point it might come to mind. Pro I, I was in a different state. So this is something right. which I think is absolutely fascinating. I don't want to get too long into yeah. this, but sometimes you, so you, you have sometimes your days, there are days you're good at tactics and sometimes there are days you're bad at tactics, right? It depends mm -hmm. a cup, bit on your daily form. Am I right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It depends so, on how you're feeling, if you're tired, if you slept well, if you And the same well. applies to, to chess, of course, as well. But... Then it, there's this fascinating thing. I love the the neuroscience and uh, all of that mm -hmm. uh, thing. So you think you have a name on your tongue, but you do not know the name. You want to mm -hmm. add this actor. Uh, what's her name again? Uh, I, 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 I'm so close to it, but you cannot get this name. Now, what yeah. helps in this case is to yeah. um, reboot your brain and think uh -huh. of like, what did I eat yesterday evening? And yeah. like get away from this thought completely, which is so yeah. difficult because if somebody tells you, do not think of pink elephants for the next five minutes, you all you're going to do, elephants. you think of pink elephants. Yeah, but if you manage right. to reboot your brain and then get back, you will know the name oh, of hello? the actor. Uh-oh, am I gone? No. <laughs> well, at least it's not me. Oh, I'm back, I think. Okay, okay. Sorry, yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm so, always pink looking elephant. down here on my, my internet. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> when you have re uh, managed to reboot your brain and you're coming back, you remember the name of the actress pretty often because you're at a new point because your thoughts went in this direction and you cannot get the name here. So if you reboot your brain and then luckily maybe you go in this direction and you know the name. And sometimes this applies to chess. This is what right. I noticed when I'm playing chess games. And I'm like, I can't move further here. I cannot move on here. Okay, wait. Let's think of something. Okay, let's come. I, I'm I'm taking a walk, like for one minute. Walk around. Think of something else. What am I doing tomorrow? Then I'm coming back. That's the move. Bam. Yeah, that can that can be a good a good idea actually. Yeah, interesting concept. Yeah, I haven't I haven't read about it much in chess, but of course I'm thinking about it much more often. Okay, well, awesome. Yeah, that was that. Let's yes. let's do some let's move on and get some more points. Let's do some tactics. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of couple of exercises. Uh, okay, so we'll go to tactics.chessbase. All right, click to solve tactics. Here we go. Maybe you have to reshare. Do you see my No, you loading? have to reshare it, I think. It's, sometimes there's a little bit of ah, a delay. Oh yeah, okay. That looks better. Now I can see you. And now I can see the tactics. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Let me. I will make us a bit smaller here again. Two thousand two hundred. That's what we are. Strong amateur. Yeah. Good. Let's see if we can get to at least twenty two fifty, twenty three hundred. Yeah. Let's try that out. Okay. Okay. So why to play black? Just gone f three. I don't think this is even. This is a fifteen eighty five. Yeah. Yeah. We so take the we bishop, take the right? Bishop. Yeah. That's made in the next one. Okay. That's All a right. check. This one looks simple That has as to well. be a check, yeah. Check. <laughs> and and uh, can we get oh, mated here? I think we have to be a little careful. Yeah. Hmm. But if we take with, if we take the knight, there's a check yeah. on d3. Then we yeah, go down with dangerous. the king. Yeah, but uh, I don't think. And then we go uh, to g1 with the king and we're safe. But did we we're get enough? We're not that safe. <laughs> we're not that safe. 
Hmm. I mean, maybe that's what it wants us to do, which I would find kind of strange. Because it feels a bit dangerous, but I do see one configuration which is probably okay for white. Okay, so there's that line. queen e3 with a check, and then... Yeah, well, well yeah. in that king g1 variation, yeah. But So before that, so queen takes f6, queen d3 check, king f2, queen takes d2 check, and then... And then king g3? No, because then rook g8 check. Although that might still be good, because we might have yeah. king h3, and yeah. we might be all right. Yeah, because the bishop is protecting well enough on f3, I guess. Probably, probably okay. So what I, do you I think? think that's we... probably it. Yes. I think that's probably it. Yes. Oh, it's a solve. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, yeah let's. Um, yeah, yeah. That because even the rook on g8 can give as much checks as he wants, which is only one. We are safe on h3. I think, but then, like for example, this rook d6. It's actually a little bit. Yeah, or rook I g6. Mean... Yeah. No, uh, rook g6 is uh, uh, rook g6, queen h8, rook d8 is also possible. There. So actually, I didn't want to do that. Here, I actually wanted to block. That was the move that I would have done. Okay, rook e4. Oh, no, okay. he's hanging ah, h8. Yeah, that's yeah. the plan. Wow, that was so much tougher than it said. Yeah, yeah, it's it's much tougher than it it should have been. Yeah. Okay, let's let's Next. keep on. Yeah. Okay, this is easy. Uh, this is yeah, checkmate. Two. Nice. Uh... All right, this one also looks fairly intuitive. <laughs> or, or actually, there's there's a more... there's a couple of options, right? There's the knight to c4 or the knight to b3 yeah. or both. Well, knight to c4 surely is the first move. Well, if knight goes to c4, where does the queen go to? To c3 is the only move. Yeah. And then... 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 No. What? Oh, okay. I mean, I, f I see a way to give black a big advantage, but I don't see a win. Yeah. Wow, that's fairly complicated. Knight to b3 doesn't feel like it works. C takes b3, a takes b3, knight, knight takes b3. And take with the c. Yeah, knight. that's true. So that's after knight c4, then the rook takes on e3. Is that the Yeah, well, that's the move that I was trying to make work. But, exactly. but don't we lose a piece after the queen takes? We take with the rook and then our... Uh, knight on c5 is falling. Yeah, but my my thought was we could take with the knight on a3. A3. And if king b2, we oh, can go back. Oh, but if but we... it's still not clear. Oh. King a1, and then our rook and our knight is hanging. And then I was trying to make something work there. Wow. But I failed. I, did, I didn't do it. That's a toughie. Lee. I don't yeah. Oh no, the internet. Lawrence, let's make this one and another one and keep it uh, then then we 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 call it a day today because of some okay. internet troubles. But yeah, so okay. what what do we do? Knight to C four? I mean it has to be knight to C four. I think so. I'm sorry, it just has to be Let's go. Let's okay. go. So now the question of all questions. Rook E three? Let's try it. No, ah, it's not. Just wow. Yeah. wow. Oh! You see it oh. now? Yeah. Oh, that's very cute. So oh, that's very nice. Oh, that's very, very nice. This is great. Think of what you... It's, it's a move you mentioned before. Wow, this is superb. This is really... Excellent. I'm so intim intimidated. This looks uh, very cool. Um... It, so I'm seeing, yeah, there's so many things to, to, to keep track of. It's crazy. So, okay, what happens after 
Knight B3. Yeah. That's the move. That's an unbelievable move. Because oh, now we open now I get the gate it. file. And this is mate on A2. And if we just go back, if he goes queen takes B3, the point is we have knight... Uh, sorry, we have... Yeah, knight D2 check, just winning the queen. King C2 and then winning the queen. Oh, that's yeah. a... And, and that's there's a no other beauty move here, right? Indeed. That's a beauty, actually. Yeah, that's the knight nicest we had on the server so far. That was also very, very tough. Yeah, knight B3, is a, knight B3 really is a, is a beauty. Nice one. Okay. Okay, one more. Last if one? it's not too too easy. Uh, that that this looks, one looks that looks quite. Forward. Yeah, does it? Bishop d6. Ugh, bishop, my goodness. Knight d6. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, one more. Okay, let's then. do one more. Okay, this okay, is a fun one. Too. Okay, excellent. Here we go. Uh, let's go. Oh, this is so beautiful. Yeah, I can. I think I almost see it. So, is it uh, queen to h2 check? Yeah. And then bishop e4 check, Four. double check. King h3. And then bishop g2 checkmate. Beautiful. What a beautiful puzzle. Look at that. That, oh. was, that was tough. I solved it quite quickly. You what? did it really nice. Well, well that, that was, okay, yeah. unshare. That was, uh, yes, that's very satisfying. Ah, oh, nice one. Yeah. <laughs> that was great well done excellent excellent really nice. nice finish La lawrence well, well i enjoyed we... that it's totally i enjoyed that it's it's nice because the we're getting to some really tough cookies here and uh, it's yeah. nice to puzzle around on them i hope you at home enjoy it as much as we do and um yeah we will see each other already next week wishing you yeah all... and remember yeah. anna it's the world championships in T uh, eight, uh, nine days now, I think it yeah. starts. Something yeah. like Who's that. Who's playing? So next, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Who's playing? I said. Dalsen <laughs> <laughs> in. Uh, so next week we still won't have got there, but the week after, I guess what we should do is have a world championship themed show, and have a look at some of the key tactics from the games that would have been played. We would have had three or four games already. I, I'm so. afraid Svetlana was a bit. Uh, earlier than you yesterday we made oh. a show about the, but it was only called Nepomniashi so if you say we have a World Cup uh, special then we can get some other World Championship no what I'm saying is maybe. that we look only at tactics from the games of oh the World that's what you're talking about for gotcha. the theme of the show yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. So we'll yeah. prepare some tactics for people who do, who, or may, maybe they are some sub variations or alternative variations from the games. You know, I love so. that idea. Great. Excellent. All right. Have a lovely right. weekend, everybody. Thanks, guys. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.